So I'm here at the Bosch booth with my friend Jeff Fields. Jeff, you've had um, several roles at Bosch, and your current role, very important, and we interface quite a bit, but um, you are a key account manager, part of the key account group, business development management, but specifically in the critical infrastructure market. And obviously that's getting a lot of, um, you know, there's a lot of interest and a lot of requirement in that area. Give me an idea, since critical infrastructure is a rather loosely used word, is there a specific segment within that critical infrastructure market that you focus on? Yes, um, and thanks Nick for the introduction. <laughs> uh, so my responsibility is for critical infrastructure throughout mm -hmm. North America. Okay. for Bosch, and so primarily what I'm focusing on is specifically the energy space, mm -hmm. both the nuclear and non-nuclear. Okay. Um, also, uh, rail is a, is a big area within the critical infrastructure space. Uh, oil and gas is uh, anything in the petrochem is also heavily in, de in demand right now as far as being able to protect or mitigate risks in that space. Another area that uh, is near and dear to both of us is uh, the Department of Defense anything in the military applications. So those are my focal areas that okay. uh, that we're seeing the greatest growth in. Uh, it's a large uh, swath of real estate to cover. Now, that's a lot to focus on, but, um, and I imagine in your role of North American support, you have a fair amount of frequent flyer miles? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's uh, travel uh, every week, uh, three to four days every week, so. Wow, that's considerable. So in your travels, because you're obviously going to a lot of different areas, is there a common theme that you're hearing from from customers and users in this critical infrastructure space of what problems are they having? What solutions, um, what risks are they trying to mitigate? Are you finding a common link about what concerns them um, in, in the risks that they're trying to overcome? Absolutely. Um, I think what we're hearing most in the market now is data security issues. Uh, right now with the threat of cybersecurity coming from all over the globe, there are challenges at, at every corner, and anything that is considered a network appliance or a device that can be connected to the network is vulnerable to a certain extent. And uh, that's the one thing that we do very well here at Bosch is protecting that network from those potential risks. So we mitigate risks associated with any type of network connection. That's excellent. I know we're showing several technologies in the booth here this week that address the, you know, the critical infrastructure market and data security is one of those. And I know we have those conversations with customers all the time. They're, they're concerned about their vulnerability and the perspective is a camera is an IP device on your network. So it is prone to hack or, uh, um, or have uh, some type of malware or bot installed on it. So Bosch, what is what is Bosch's specific technology they have? Their, their cameras are very hack resilient, correct? That's correct, yes. We have our own encryption standards that uh, are applied to every one of our cameras. In addition to that, we have uh, TPM modules built into every product that we manufacture today, which adds that additional layer of uh, data security to each of our devices that are con considered hanging at the edge. So, and, I, and I, as I'm aware, the uh, you know Bosch cameras are some of the most hack resilient devices in our industry. So, something definitely customers want to look at. Um, what other technologies are we? showing here that apply to what you're seeing out there, risk you're trying to mitigate in the critical infrastructure space. I imagine maybe video analytics? Yes. IVA is a critical part of everything that we're doing in critical infrastructure. Mm -hmm. IVA now has the ability to define and designate specific actions or uh, responsibilities based on a, a scene or a function within the scene. And intelligent video analytics is, is an aspect or an asset to an organization just in that it can provide that multiple layers of physical security that you would typically never get out of a standard functioning camera. Exactly, we're seeing that also. I mean, the anal video analytics from Bosch, which provide a phenomenal uh, you know, feature set, just can alert somebody of an event going on, even with a camera that you're not currently looking at. So by creating these tasks within IVA, I can be alerted of a hostile event occurring or some event that I want my attention. Also, we can tag that video for recording, so when I play it back, I can search for that event and just get results for that event. So yeah, intelligent video analytics. Um, anything else here in particular that uh, might affect, directly affect the critical infrastructure space that 
folks might want to take a look at? Well, we do have our communications path that is a, a segment of our entire portfolio. So what we look at is providing a pure solution. That pure solution is all the way through the, the security process. It's not just security, it's also safety. And being able to bring in not just our intrusion detection and access control, but our communications paths that are capable of providing those messages as it relates to safety uh, and, and awareness. That's, that's the initiative with, with safety is to mitigate the risks associated with working in, a, in, in the workplace. You bring up a great point. Bosch just does not have one specific focus. We have a unified security platform, and some or all of these technologies might be required to protect your facility, uh, whether it's data security, whether it's video analytics to help your, your system. Uh, we also have, I know, very popular, as we've seen in the critical infrastructure space, is the mix series of hardened shock and vibration vibration resistant cameras. So that specifically I know focuses a lot on the critical infrastructure market. Absolutely, Nick. Um, uh, the flagship of Bosch is the, the MiG-7000 and MiG-9000 thermals. They are outperforming 95% uh, of our competition in the marketplace. And I only say 95 because I'm not sure who the other 5% are. <laughs> but we don't we don't really care, but anyway, um, this is all great, and it's great to have this technology, and we want you know to share this conversation with customers. And I'm assuming for the folks back home that how can we we can engage you and bring you into this conversation if there is a, an opportunity or a challenge that a customer is having. So, um, what is the best way to engage and learn more about how we can help solve some problems out there? Well, my availability is going to be uh, an approach to not just. Uh, consultation, but uh, we have a team of folks that here are here at Bosch that operate on the engineering side that can provide the specifications, can work through an RFP or an RFQ, can recommend and design system configurations that meet or exceed the expectation the customers have. So I would say that my objective is to maintain, or actually to develop and maintain the customer relationship. The customer relationship is paramount for me and I want to ensure that we're doing everything we possibly can to provide a solution that is second to none. And that's great, and you have done a phenomenal job supporting our team at Chesapeake and Atlantic Marketing, and we've used your resources and your, your knowledge base to help with our projects. So I think the, the key thing is just if customers have an opportunity or have a solution, or I'm sorry, have a, have a problem that they're trying to solve, bring the local representative into the uh, equation, get us introduced and obviously we will bring you in and to add to that conversation and provide the, the right boss solution that can fit their budget too. Absolutely, that, that's the objective is to meet the needs of the customers and at this point we need to understand what those needs are so however we need to take an approach to that we're, we're ready and, and able to do that. That's great, we share that same feeling. Jeff, thank you so much, thank enjoy you. the rest of the show, Thanks. appreciate it. Appreciate it.